during nine. Do you do influencing full time? No, I don't. I just do content creation for fun, honestly. No, I don't. I honestly never sleep in. That's the thing. Like, even on weekends, I'm always up at eight. Uh, but I just, I want to get up early. Like, I want to be awake up and functioning at seven. But I can't. My body's like, no. But I did read that women actually like really, really need to have nine to 10 hours of sleep a night. People say that eight hours for women actually isn't enough, especially when you're on your period because all your hormone flux fluctuations, we need more sleep than men. Because my boyfriend can get up like any time. He could wake up at five and be fine. And he always says to me, he's like, I've never met someone that needs to sleep more than you. But I don't function if I don't sleep. Yeah, same with my family. Honestly, like even my old roommate, I lived with my best friend for five years. And she, was, she could always get up at any time. Like she'd set an alarm, she could get up. I'm like, I can't get up before 7.45. Even that's pushing it. Like I'm like, oh, I don't want to. Uh, my earrings are from Amazon. I got them in a six pack for so cheap and I absolutely love them. You look like you'd be the cool rich parent in a rom-com. I would love to embody that energy. If I have kids, I'm like, I want to be a cool mom. 5.30 a.m. Oh my God. I would get fired. That would be so hard. That was my goal this year to wake up earlier. And I think I've just accepted it's just, it's not going to happen. Oh gosh, I just got a notification saying you've been on live for 90 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. What fun is there to do around Vancouver? I feel like in the summer, there's so much to do. Like, I feel like everyone, the culture here, like everyone goes to the beaches, tans in the day, and then people go to a happy hour and then like go out at night and stuff. So if you come in the summer, you can't go wrong. And like everywhere is really fun. Like Mount Pleasant area is super fun in the summer. Same with commercial. Where do you go for your hair in Vancouver? Um, I used to go to Brush and then I went to Lifestyle Hair Studio and I saw them for my extensions, which I don't have anymore, but they did my color as well. And that's the last place I went. Have you seen the Nair video? I have not. Your hair is gorgeous. Thank you. Honestly, half of this is not my hair. I am wearing clip-ins right now. <laughs> But I feel like I'm very good at styling my hair. So people always compliment my hair and I'm like, it is not my hair. <laughs> but it's all about the products you use. It makes such a big difference. Has anyone been watching Love Island? I need to catch up. I think I haven't seen the last two episodes. I'm like, I need to watch it. What's your fave setting powder? I'm obsessed with a Huda Beauty setting powder. I feel like it's a polarizing product and I feel like people absolutely ab like they love it or they can't stand it. My friend who's a makeup artist was like, it's not good, <laughs> but I really like it. Um, I use it on my under eyes and then what I will do is I'll bake my under eyes with a powder puff and then I won't add any extra powder to my brush and I will like use that powder and rub it all over my whole face. So I just have a tiny bit of powder on. Have you watched Edder Banks? I actually haven't. I've seen the first episode and that's it. Oh my God. 
my cats every night at this hour get such bad gas and it smells so bad. Like, please stop. Oh, they're so peaceful.